Good morning, good morning. Another weekly edition of Training with Dame. We are live once again on a Saturday morning. Hope that you all are doing well. And we're gonna um we're gonna get things moving shortly, just waiting for individuals to log in and uh get on the broadcast. So we're gonna give it a second here. Make sure you guys can see. Morning for those that's logging in. It's another weekly edition of Training with Dane. Um, we're gonna get things moving shortly. Um, man, I'm gonna light it here. Check this lighting. That might work. Okay. Hope you guys are well. We're going to get things rolling in a second. Uh, glad you joined me another Saturday morning for Training with Dane. Um, glad to once again to uh, help you guys with anything that I can as far as nutrition, um, fitness, and answer any questions that you guys may have. So with that being said, we're going to segue into our nutrition portion. So this week, um, my nutrition item is, on my nutrition tip, is almonds. Blue diamond almonds, uh, lightly salted with sea salt. Um, almonds are a great source of protein. Um, they're also a great source of fat. And when I say that, I, I say that because they are filled with omega, omega-3s, omega, -3s, omega -3s, um, good source of fat. Um, because we actually do need fat, whether you might believe it or not, fat, uh, we do need fat uh, for our health, for our heart health, and almonds do provide a good source of uh, fat for our heart, uh, heart health. So let's look at some of the specs on this. So a serving size is uh, one ounce, approximately uh, 28 nuts. Um, there's 16 grams of fat, like I said, it is filled with fat, um, but actually the good fat, so not saturated, no grams, one gram of saturated fat, zero trans fat, um, four grams of polysaturated and 10 grams of monosaturated fat. So don't let the word fat scare you with these. Um, these are healthy, good source of protein. Um, they have six grams of protein, um, far as fiber is low in fiber, five grams of total fiber. So um, getting more protein and fiber and also fat, a uh, healthy form of fat. You can see that. Uh, my bag is a little crushed up, so you might not be able to see that. But um, these are a good source of protein. These make a really good snack. So if you want to um, eat something as a snack, almonds are a good snack. Uh, what I usually do is I eat my almonds with uh, crazy dried cranberries, um, just to add a little sweet. Um, and the craisins, they are approximately 130 calories. Uh, serving size is about a fourth of a cup. Um, you get zero fat from these. Uh, it's mainly sugar uh, because it is a fruit. So you get 32 grams of carbs, um, zero grams of protein, but you pair these two together, they make a good healthy snack opposed to eating candy, um, eating cookies or something like that, or cake. All right, so guys, definitely try try the uh, 
cranberry almond option uh, if you want a healthy choice. Recommended. Um, yeah, so great, great choice. All right, so today we are concentrating on our shoulders and our core. All right, so shoulders are composed of um, three muscles, which is one muscle with three different parts. So it's called the deltoid. So the deltoid muscle has a front deltoid, mid, and then back deltoid. So with the shoulder, we want to build the shoulder up, uh, gentlemen. Uh, we want to make our shoulders. Good morning. Um, we want to we want to build our shoulders up to being big and strong. Shoulders help us look wide. Help us have that V shape. Ladies, you necessarily don't want a large shoulder, but you do want your shoulders uh, to be in shape because you don't want that, um, what I like to call just the, 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 the uh, cartoon arm, the arm that has no shape or definition. It's just a straight arm. Um, you don't see any cuts or anything in the arm. Ladies, you do want definite slack in your shoulder so that it does show that it separates from uh, your bicep and your tricep. You just don't want a straight Shoulder, okay. So we're going to go through several exercises. Um, we're going to do our circuit, and then I'm going to demonstrate them prior to actually us going through the circuit. All right. So with that being said, let me get up and let me kind of show you guys what we're doing today. All right. So this, hope you guys can see me. All right. So first exercise we're doing today is it's a uh, pipes. All right, so pipes are a weight exercise. What we're going to do is going to lean forward on the ground, almost like you're going to a push up position, but you're going to keep your, your butt and everything. All you're going to do is lower yourself down and up. All right, so it's almost like a shoulder press without the weight. Down and up. That's a pipe. All right. The next exercise we're doing is the butterfly crunch. All right. So, we are laying on the ground. I don't like the camera. Let's bring this back a little more, guys. Bear with me, bear with me. So, you can see me good. There we go. All right. So, we're doing the butterfly crunch. So, we're laying down. Like so, we're going to come up and bring our knees up to our chest and our back and shoulders off the ground. That's the butter. Just like that. Boom. All right. That's the second exercise. <clears throat> Third exercise is the arm press. So let me take my down there. Be seated. I'm going to be seated when I do this. Elbows forward, press up just like that. All right. That's the second exercise. I mean, the third exercise, excuse me. Fourth exercise is knee tucks. So, knee tucks. I'm going to get down here, hands on your side, sitting, seated, seated, and bring your knees to my chest just like this. Sideways view so you guys can better view. Legs straight out, knees up. Boom, legs up. That's our fourth exercise. And then our last exercise is rear flies. We're going to take our dumbbells. We're going to bend over like so. We're going to come back like that. Alright, that's our fifth and final exercise. Okay, hope you guys got that. We're going to get going. You ready? I'm going to take your time. Like I said, go at your pace. If you're not able to keep up, it's not a problem. Remember, go at your pace. You don't have to move at my pace. I may move a little fast, but just try to keep up. All right, let's get going. First thing is pipes. All right, so remember walk out almost into a push up. Not quite, but up. We're going to go. 
when you're 15, all right? You do what you can. All right, let's get going. One. You guys rest between sets. Um, just so you can catch your breath and kind of regroup. You know, sometimes people are more anxious, like I want to get it done. But there's nothing wrong with resting between breath like me. I'm in pretty good shape. But hey, I just have to rest in between those sets. So make sure you guys rest in between the rounds, all right? We're going to be going again about another 30 seconds. Keep the water, that's important. Stay hydrated. Very important. And like I said, it's all at your own pace, people. Don't try to move too fast or move at my pace. Um, that was kind of tough. Uh, Nisha, we're, we're doing different reps for exercise. So we're going to get back going. I'm going to shout out the reps prior to the exercise going. All right. So back. The top. Start with the pipes. All right. I'm gonna do 15 of these. If you can't do 15, that's fine. Ladies, um, let's try a mod modified version for you. 
A modified version will be on your knee, like so, almost like a push up. Um, but you can bring your hands out some so you get more of your shoulders and you your chest. So, ladies, here's a modified version on your back. We're going to go down, almost to your head. One, keep your knees on the ground. Two, three, four, five. We're using all shoulders right now. Six, seven. second round. We're going to chill for a second, catch our breath, and then we're going to finish with the third round, and we'll be done. Once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in on a Saturday morning. Um, looks like it's going to be another nice day. You know, a nice day for us in Chicago. It's uh, 40 degrees, so <laughs> you got to enjoy that 40 degree weather. Get out and do something. I hope it's a helpful start for your day. Um, and I can be, you know, a little bit of motivation for you. Exercise during the week. All right, so about another 15 seconds, we're going to get up. We're going to finish strong, and I'm going to let you guys out of here so you can enjoy your day. All right? So we rest it up. Let's finish out. 
Let's finish out we done. We're doing our pipe. Go down, walk it out a little bit. Ladies, remember you can do your modified version, alright? Fellas, no, no modified version, but come on. Ready? Come on. y'all but that was great i feel great i hope that y'all feel great man i catch my breath that was rough um i hope that was uh good for you guys like it was for me got my heart rate up got my arms and my stomach feeling a little tight um good work good work um, I see some of you exercises. I'm glad that the modified version can help. Um, you know, there's always modified version for exercise. So if you see people doing certain exercises, there's always an alternative to the exercise or a <coughs> modified version that you can do with the exercise. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's, don't think that it's something that uh, you can't do. Um, just always remember that it's going to take you to do it. All right. So, uh, once again, I thank you guys for tuning in on a Saturday morning with me. You got up with my big head. Appreciate you. Um, Cause you could have been doing something else. Uh, while I'm here, and I've got my couple viewers, does anybody have any questions? 
or is anything anybody wants to know more about prior to me getting off of this off of this um weekly edition of training with Dame. So you feel free to ask any questions. Um let me see. <laughs> I appreciate that, G. But that could be your motivation, man. Come on, go ahead, hit the gym, or get out on that bike. You know, you the bike king, so get out on that bike, man. Um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys could tune in. Um, those butterfly crunches are hard. And butterfly crunches are really hard. But they're a great core exercise because they hit both of both uh upper and lower abs. And that's what we were kind of targeting our abs. So um they're great, great, great core exercise. I I regularly do those. Um and just add different little things to it. I may add weight. Um, I may do it on time. You know, things of that nature, just to make it. Hard. But those are a great exercises. Um, I, 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 um, I behoove you to add it to your workout uh, because you will see a, a big difference in your stomach and your core. Um, but yeah, great exercise. Great exercise. I'm glad you guys were trying it out and it did kick your butts because it. As much as I do, it still kicks my butt. Um, but yeah, you know, this was a great workout. Shoulders, um, like I said, deltoid muscle. This is our shoulder, deltoid muscle. Got the front, mid, and rear delt. Um, trying my best to hit all of those points with these exercises. The pike is a great exercise. Um, and I recommend that you uh, incorporate that into your workout as well. Make sure you use your body weight. Uh, somebody said, what's a good core exercise for obliques? So a good oblique exercise is oblique twist. Like that. Where you're sitting down. Um, you can do it with weight or without weight. Um, also, what you do is when, you, when you're doing the exercise, let me see if you can see me. You can raise your legs up in the air. When doing the exercise and when you twist around like that, that's hitting your obliques. That's a great oblique exercise. Um, another oblique exercise is uh, side um, side uh, plank, side planks. So you can do side planks as well. Side crunches lying down. Um, you can do in the gym. You can get the cable and do twists or wood choppers. So any twisting, rotating exercise is good for your obliques. Um, that's a great oblique exercise. Twisting, you have two sets of obliques. You have inner and outer obliques. Different exercises hit different sets of the obliques. But any type of rotation exercise, side to side like that, is going to always uh, incorporate or engage your obliques. So that's a great oblique exercise. So try to do the oblique twist. Um, I would recommend those starting out, um, starting out doing that way, and then next thing you do is raise your feet up, and then the third thing I would do is add weight to it. Okay. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, if anybody doesn't have any more questions, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off another weekly edition of Training with Dane. Like I said, once again, I'm glad you guys joined me. I um, hope to see you guys back again next week. You know, same bad time, same bad channel. Um, I'm proud of those who did work out and participate. Um, like I said, everything is in moderation and at your pace. I just try to give you little tips and pointers, no problem. Who would say thank you? I try to give you little tips and pointers to try to add to your workout um, and help you and that you can do in the comfort of your career. If you don't have access to a gym so with that being said once again i thank you guys for tuning in i see you next week and i always leave you with this remember healthy thinking is healthy living all right i'm gonna say that one more time healthy thinking is healthy living all right i see you guys next week peace